so my god it's cj.com hey guys it's Clinton jeff from so my god it's cj.com and this is our new introducing symbian 3 series uh where we're basically going to take you through a couple of things that are new with symbian 3 and a couple of overviews of different uh parts of the os um, in this first video, we're going to just take a quick look at music and uh, media on Symbian 3. Uh, for example, let's start with music. Um, the music player, uh, the music folder, as you can see, has a FM transmitter, OV music radio, and music player, which of course depends on, um, depends on which phone you have. Um, an FM transmitter might not be with every single Symbian device. Um, the music player is a lot like the previous versions, um, but there is a very nice, very quick cover flow in, in landscape orientation uh, that you can see right there. Um, all you have to do is just tap on uh, a cover flow item to open it up, and then just tap on a song name to play it. Uh, you can also increase and decrease the volume uh, using the volume keys on your, on your uh, phone if they have them. Um, controls are exactly the same as before. Uh, you can a couple of rearrangements of things over here. You can also skip to any part of the song just by tapping on the bar. Um, there's play, pause, uh, rewind, fast forward to go to the next or previous tracks. Um, under options, you can go to your music library to see all the um, different music items you have. Uh, you can also choose to shuffle um, all your songs while playing them or repeat. Uh, you can view your song details, for example. So apart from that, you can also um, turn on your FM transmitter, uh, uh, mess with your equalizer settings. Unfortunately, you can't add um, a new custom equalizer in Symbian 3, not yet at least. Uh, so hopefully I should come up soon. Apart from that, you can also um, use this tone to, and assign it to a contact or make it your ringtone. Uh, and there are also a couple more settings like balance, loudness, and stereo widening. Uh, apart from that, let me show you how it looks in portrait mode. In portrait mode, it's exactly the same as previous versions of, um, of Symbian. Uh, you can also view the kind of cover art right there in portrait mode. Um, or you can go to your now playing menu and play songs right from there. So, um, so yeah, uh, the music player is a bit improved. Um, there's also the music library view, which lists all the songs you have by their album art. You can also shuffle right there. Um, so that's something that's pretty cool. There's also support for playlists, where you can add your own playlist. There's all, also automatic playlists like uh, most played, recently played, etc. Um, you can also create your own playlist. Um, apart from that, there's also um, genres. You can sort your music by genres. View your podcast. The podcast client is pretty uh, basic, unfortunately. You can uh, subscribe to new podcasts also. That's pretty cool. Um, you can also go and buy tracks from Nokia's OV Music Store um, or view your entire library, uh, music library details, for example. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, any songs that you add in um, are automatically just detected. Once in a while, you might have to uh, automatically uh, manually refresh your library in case you it, it's not detecting a song. Um, it supports a whole variety of uh, music formats, for example, which is pretty cool. Um, but that's yeah, that's basically it for music on Symbian three. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can let us know on the blog. For now, let's check out uh, the Photos application. So the Photos application is basically um, a little identical to how it is arranged on um, the previous version of uh, Symbian, Symbian version 1. Um, all your photos and your videos are added in here, even though this is just a Photos application. Um, you can tap on any picture to uh, view it, and then you can just swipe to go to another picture uh, previous. Backwards, you can also um, zoom in by, by pinching to zoom or pinch out zoom out. Um, you can also zoom in using the controls right there if you need to. Zooming in, as you can see, is very is very smooth, which is uh, definitely appreciated. You can also choose to send an image right here uh, via mail, uh, by MMS or Bluetooth. Uh, you can also play a slideshow by tapping on the slideshow icon right there. Um, that will play a nice slideshow of your pictures. Um, going back. You can also view um, your details of your picture right there, which will show you the name of the picture, the description, the album that you have signed it to. You can also add tags for your pictures and um, geolocation, of course. 
Um, and you can also take pictures in different resolutions, so you can view the resolution of the picture right there. That's pretty cool. Um, apart from that, you can add your picture to an album, um, add some tags, or use this image for a contact, set it as a wallpaper, or set it as an incoming call message uh, uh, image. You can also print an image if you have a supported printer, uh, which I don't right now, so I can't show you that. Um, going back to the main menu there. So yeah, um, all the images are uh, aligned by the thumbnail in a grid pattern. Um, you can also mark several images using the mark icon there and marking whichever ones you need or unmark them. Um, so yeah, pretty much the same as the uh, previous version of Symbian. So going back to um, media, you can also check out, while you can view videos in the uh, Photos application, um, they are better arranged in the Videos application right there, uh, which will show you your last viewed um, videos, any videos you've captured or any videos that we downloaded. You can also download new videos from the OV store right there. Um, videos are pretty nice on the... Uh, uh, on Symbian 3, they, it handles it pretty fine. Um, the Nokia devices that I've traveled with uh, play DivX and XWID formats out of the box, which is amazing because you can just put in uh, various mu movies right there. Um, there's also uh, the ones that you capture right there. Playing back videos is fine, um, as you can see. Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from ZomeGodAtCG.com. You can uh, play, pause, rewind, go fast forward. Um, you can skip to any part of the video just by using and dragging on the bar right there. And you can also view details of the video that you've taken. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty cool, I guess. So videos is definitely something that you can handle very well. Even if you play a video, um, a brand new video, it'll play from where you last viewed the video, if you have previously uh, seen it before. There's also settings where you can choose um, streaming options for videos if you like to stream videos online. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, media on the Symbian version 3 operating system. Um, if you have any questions or comments, do let us know on the blog um, or in the comment section below.